As you may recall, we recently launched the Snake Discovery Enclosure brought to you by Custom Reptile Habitats, and it is an awesome enclosure, nice and naturalistic design. However, there are some people out there, maybe yourself included, who might already have a cage for your reptile, and you don't necessarily need an entirely new enclosure for it. So for those of you who still want an epic naturalistic enclosure, but using, say, your 40 gallon tank at home, we are now also launching the Snake Discovery Decor Kit, and today we're going Going to show you how to install it. Although this decor kit will work on just your basic 40 gallon breeder aquarium, since we have one lying around, we're instead going to set it up using a front opening 40 gallon terrarium. The reason why we prefer the front opening terrariums is because not only is it easier to access the animals compared to removing lights from the screen and taking it off before you can enter, but there's also a lot more airflow in this style of enclosure because there are ventilation gaps in the front, which encourages air to come in through the front and out through the top. So there's a lot more airflow this way. This is not only usually healthier for the animals, but it also prevents condensation buildup on the front of the glass. The Snake Discovery Decor Kit comes with just about everything you need to make a naturalistic enclosure. It comes with two ledges, one for each side of the enclosure, a water dish, a fake rock made of polyurea, which you can easily cut a hole into to make a naturalistic hide, a fake grassland plant for the desert option, or two fake tropical plants for the tropical option. And of course, your background. The last thing that this kit comes with is of course, silicone to help attach it all to your tank. The background to these kits is made out of a very thick, sturdy foam, which is a lot heavier duty than the foam background sold in the uh, commercial kits like that you find at retail stores. So this is going to last a long time. In fact, let me show you the difference here. So if you look up close here, this is the foam background from the, or the original background with this enclosure. It just kind of scrapes away. And then here is the foam, that harder, more protective foam in the snake discovery kit. You can't scratch that away. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the other side, I know you can't feel this on camera, but it, if you were to feel this, this is a very smooth foam background. Whereas the Snake Discovery kit background is very rough to the touch, and this gives a lot more traction to lizards climbing all around it. And their claws shouldn't shred this to pieces within six months like they typically do for these backgrounds. In fact, if you look at our Lichianus geckos tank, which has the same background as the one we're replacing in the enclosure today, she's been in here for about a year, and her claws have just torn it apart and taken off the first layer, which strips off the paint and kind of just makes it a dull gray color. However, Universal Rocks is discontinuing this exact style of background, and instead we'll be making these using the polyurea, just like this rock is made out of. So your kit may come with either the foam background or the polyurea made background, uh, depending on what stage Universal Rocks is at in that process. So let's get building. Before you silicone in the background, you'll want to double check just to make sure it's fitting the way you want it to. This should fit any standard 40 gallon breeder aquarium or front opening terrarium. However, if the one you have isn't of standard size, then you might have to do some minor tweaking on the background. In addition, these are all individually cut, so you might have a little bit of shaving off to do so that there's a nice snug tight fit. And you want them to fit pretty tight to the back because that'll prevent insects from sneaking behind them. To trim up the background, you can use a razor blade Carefully, of course, don't cut yourself. You can also sand it down with sandpaper, or if you have the background made of polyurea, just like this rock is made out of, you can easily trim it with some shears. Make sure though, if you are trimming with a knife or with the scissors, that you take just small bits off at a time because again, you want it to be a very tight fit. We have already trimmed this one down. That's what all that bee footage was from. So we're going to set it in and see if it's ready to be attached. Nice, that looks beautiful. Now that we have a perfectly fitting background, we are going to add silicone. This will look familiar if you watched our snake discovery enclosure build video. So for this step, you're gonna wanna look at the background and see what points stick out the most because those are the points that are going to make contact with the glass. And therefore, they're the spots you wanna add your silicone. And you can be liberal. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let's try that again. Don't be afraid to use a lot of silicone either. This is going to help hold it in place. We're going to put some along the sides too. And now to 
to make sure that this background makes as much contact and is as flush to that glass as possible, we're going to tilt the entire enclosure onto its back and weigh down that background while the silicone cures. We need something heavy to weigh this down. What do we have around the house that's heavy? We, we have a lot of color and books. Oh, oh geez. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use the coloring book boxes. Oh, geez. That's really heavy. Yeah, that, that should do it. That these, should hold it down. These are really heavy. Yeah, those are like 40 pounds each, so. In case you didn't already know, Snake Discovery coloring books are now in our store. Go check them out, snakediscovery.com. Shameless plug. Yeah. Now you're gonna wanna let this sit for the silicone to cure, which will take about six hours. Bonus points if you use the coloring book. Oh. Uh, you don't get bonus points, I guess. Nope. But what if they wanna use that six hours to draw in their Snake oh. Discovery coloring book? There you go, that's how you can spend the time. Perfect. Now that the silicone has set, we're going to rotate the enclosure onto its side to install one of the ledges. Now keeping in mind that this is the back, that is the bottom, I know it's a weird orientation with the camera angle right now, but this is the bottom, so you want to look at your ledge and make sure you are placing it in the right direction or orientation for what you're looking for in the final product. In this case, I want the ledge facing this way because I feel like more horizontal space here is going to be preferred by a snake rather than it being upside down like this. This could probably still work, but it just looks like this rock would be better facing this way. So I'm going to apply a liberal amount of silicone onto the back here and then lay it just like that on the side. Now we're going to let this rest so that gravity can help pull it down while the silicone cures for another six hours and then rotate the enclosure the opposite way and do the other ledge on the other side. Now that the background and both ledges are in place, we'll want to put some silicone along the edges of everything and then take a finger and just wipe it down to smooth out this bead of silicone. And this will complete your seal between the glass and the background and the glass and the ledges. Filling in all these little gaps will prevent feces from falling into them if your snake happens to poop while they're on the ledge, which would make it impossible to clean down in there. And it'll not only prevent insects from sneaking underneath and behind, but also your substrate from sneaking under. If there are spots in the back that you can't reach with the silicone gun, just put a dab on your finger and then you can reach in and wipe it into place. Aw yeah, we have all the silicone in place and smoothed out, not only along the ledges, but also on three sides of the background. I figured I didn't have to do the top because that's such a tight fit anyway. I didn't want to overdo it with the silicone and you shouldn't either if you have a tight fitting background like that. So now we just have to wait another, you guessed it, four to six hours for this silicone to dry and then we are done with silicone and we get to do the fun part, which is decorating. Since there are no areas where fake rock touches fake rock, you don't have to worry about trying to hide any seams. If you want, you can go above and beyond and add just some colored paper onto the sides of your enclosure. We like to do this not only because we like the look of it, but also because it tends to make the snakes inside feel a little bit more secure. To go with a naturalistic theme, you could go with like a brown color for a background, or I like the look of a black background with those rock ledges, but it's totally up to you. Or if you prefer, you don't have to do any sort of background on the sides at all. Since there are two different options for the decor kit, an arid or a desert version, as well as a tropical version, the main difference being the plants that it comes with, there are multiple different ways to decorate your enclosure. The arid option comes with this kind of drier grassland plant, and for that, I'd recommend using a drier substrate like, say, aspen fibers. This will keep humidity levels low, but also allow for tunneling behavior, which is perfect for plains hognose. Snakes. For the tropical version of the kit, you can use humidity retaining soils such as eco earth or cocoa blocks or cypress mulch, or in the case that I've done here below, I've mixed all three of them together. 
One bit of advice though for the tropical kit that comes with two fake ferns, the base of these plants is just kind of a straight base, it's not in a pot at all. So what I recommend is, since it's all a wire interior, is just bending that um, stem so that it'll anchor down into the substrate a bit better. But there you have it, that's how to install the Snake Discovery Decor Kit. It's honestly just siliconing things into place. And now for the obligatory montage of snakes checking it out, we asked our Patreon backers which snake we should use as a model for this setup. And it was a tie between Candy Corn, our albino Nelson's milk snake, and Sunny Side Up, our scaleless corn snake. So we're gonna use both of them. Get ready for a montage. Where could candy corn be? Hmm, I wonder. I found you! At this point, you can even deck it out by adding even more enrichment like cork barks or additional caves, branches, whatever you want. And remember, you can take the fake rock and easily cut a hole into it to turn it into a cave. Alternatively, you can opt to not have any plants at all and instead use live plants and make a completely bioactive enclosure. Doing so does make the price go down a little bit since there are no plants that will be sent to you, but everything else is the same. What I love about this kit and why we decided to partner with Custom Reptile Habitats and create a snake discovery exclusive kit is that because of all of the horizontal ledges in both the actual ledges on the sides and the ledges embedded into the background, the amount of surface area is dramatic dramatically increased in the enclosure, which just offers more enrichment and climbing opportunities for your reptile. It's also nice if you already have an enclosure and you don't necessarily want to buy an entirely new habitat, you just want to tweak the one you currently have, this kit is a really easy way to turn it into a naturalistic enclosure. For those of you who are interested in the Snake Discovery Decor Kit that we just launched so that you can transform your 40 gallon tank into a naturalistic terrarium, I will put a link to it in the description below. Thank you to all of our Patreon backers for supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. And thank you again for voting on the snakes to use as today's models for this enclosure build. Thanks everybody for watching as well, and we'll see you next time.